Laser Show. Yeah, yeah. Except those didn't look like special effects to me. Uh-oh, I hope this doesn't mean what I think it does. <sighs> Keep going from the chorus. <clears throat> Mad me! <laughs> Quick, get a doctor! She's lost her voice. You don't know that. That never happens to her. Take it from her. You're looking at the world's biggest Madney fangirl. I'm not a fangirl. She just happens to be the awesomest. <laughs> not a fangirl, huh? Huh. <laughs> Following this strange occurrence, huh? her manager has just announced that Madney's concert scheduled for this evening in Rosemont has been canceled. What? <gasps> the concert is canceled? And my t-shirt is wet. I don't mm. believe this nonsense about Maddie losing her voice. You huh? better tell Sparrow. Uh, would it inconvenience you, Miss Duncan, to stop by my house first so I could change my shirt? No time! <laughs> Sparrow's got fangs! Sparrow's got fangs! <laughs> my dear girl, I tell you they exist. Look. Even if you're right, I can't get you any of the creatures you're talking about. Especially not a Yeti! Uh, speaking of stuffed animals, are you bothering Sparrow again? I can't get it through his skull that we only sell household pets. Dogs, cats, cockatoos! Don't even bother. There's only one way to deal with this guy. Hey! 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 Major disaster! <gasps> Madney's concert tonight has been canceled. Oops. Easy, Sparrow. Calm down. Sorry. When I get upset, I kind of lose control. Check out your crystal. I've got a bad feeling about this. Crystal is saying that some sort of spell was cast. A thievery spell. And appropriate! At the Coliseum, just half an hour ago. During Madney's rehearsal! I knew it! There's a spellbinder behind this. Let's get to the manor. I need my living stone. Ha <laughs> ha. pretty wound up. I think I'll keep an eye on her. If I enter voice plus witchcraft, let's see what my living stone tells us. <gasps> wow! It's the mermaid Aquaphonus! Jeez, she's gorgeous! Hmm. I should go back to Otherworld. The girls are so much hotter. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what does she have to do with Madney? <laughs> Master Chim! <clears throat> Mermaids from Otherworld protect themselves by singing. By singing? Why not by playing the bongos or casting spells for that matter, hmm? <laughs> 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 because only through their clarion song can they hypnotize the giant orca, their most fearsome enemy. Which means that the mermaid who stole Madney's voice must be mute. Your powers of deduction are impressive, young sorceress. This mermaid must, of course, be mute. But she has broken the laws of Otherworld by coming to Earth. You must capture her and bring her to me quickly. Great, Master Chem. But how are we supposed to find a mute mermaid who could be anywhere in the Seven Seas? Yeah, it's like a wild goose chasing a haystack. But man, that is one good-looking goose. Uh... Huh? Mermaid. Huh? Huh? Another appropriate spell. It didn't work, but I located it. At the Fine Arts Pavilion. That's where they're holding auditions for Rising Star Search. All the girls at school are talking about it. That casting call is one-stop voice shopping for our mermaid. Well, that's weird. What would she need another voice for? Come on, I want that concert. Via Transportus. <laughs> Transport us license in a box of Cracker Jacks? <sighs> okay, okay, it could happen to anyone. Give it a rest, you two. We have to catch that mermaid. Be at Transportus to the Fine Arts Pavilion! A mermaid? I knew these three were hiding something. Well then, time for a little fishing. But leafy greens are supposed to be good for you. Hey, guys.
guys, check out our welcoming committee. I love it! Oh, hey, get back! Oh no, Sandra Laylock, the biggest gossip in school. What is that nosy cow doing here? They're totally trying to cut the line. She's a real hot air baboon. <laughs> Calm down, everyone, please. You shouldn't be here. The audition slots are completely booked up. If you would please just move along. Look, we're here. How can I put this? To find the voice of the great singer Magni. And... Oh, really? Do I look like I was born yesterday? Huh? Oh, no. You look like you've been around for a long, long time. Get lost. I don't have time for funny business. Casting starts in 10 minutes, and I have a very full schedule. Watch it. Here come the gorillas. We'll come back later. Hmm. I absolutely have to find a way to get into that audition. Plus, I love singing. Uh, are you really sure that's the only way? Oh, yeah. I feel this audition could be my destiny. More like our fate. Hang on. I just might have something to help you out. Huh? Okay, V. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, here it is. Well, if you want to, but it's not really necessary, you know. Read this. It can't hurt anyway. Be a voca. Don't look at me. It's only what's written here in this book. Okay. Via vocalis. Change my voice that curdles milk into one as smooth as silk. I am a pop star. Y'all love my face and name. Uh, not quite there yet. Start over again. I am a pop star. Y'all love my face and name. No, that's not it either. Make it effort. <laughs> I am a pop star. You love my face and name. <laughs> Bravissima, Senora Diva. <laughs> We're on. You're looking at the next rising star. But just so you know, I could have done it fine without the spell, too. <laughs> we'll cover you. Get going. Hey, look. Over there. It's Manny Spear. <laughs> It wasn't her. <laughs> I am a pop star. Huh? Y'all are my face and name. I'm blowing up, got the world going insane. They know I'll go far. Oh, oh your contract, miss. <clears throat> Sign on the dotted line. Please, at the bottom, on the right. Hey, you can't do that. Make way for our new rising star. Thank you for coming out, ladies, but you can all go home now. I know her! She couldn't carry a tune if it had a handle! Don't believe that witch! That voice is absolutely perfect. It's exactly what I need. Aw, this stinks. I had like a hundred girls to choose from back there. Keep dreaming, Romeo. And keep your eyes on that door. I'll cover the exit on the street. Let's do it!
You're mine. Thank you, Tara. You can't talk and I can't move. We're quite a team. Let me go. <laughs> Let me go. Please help. Tara's in danger. To the rescue! Help! Uh, hurry up! Faster! Help! <laughs> Girls, hey, what's the big idea? We'll explain later. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Hold it right there, kitties. Not this loser again. What a jerk. You don't know what you're doing! Oh, but I do. I know exactly what I'm doing, and I don't need your help to do it. This mermaid will be perfect for my collection. Let me go! I have to get back to my daughter. And Tara would love to get her voice back, too. I can't do that. I need it for my little girl. That's enough. This isn't a family drama. Now back off, or I'll shish kebab you. <laughs> What's that, Tara? You want me to let the mermaid go? Just say the word. Some diving gear. Via Apparatus! Your turn, Cal. We also need a boat. This should do the trick. Via Apparatus! <laughs> said it better myself. And it just so happens that I, uh, borrowed this from Henry. Check it out. An electric fish collar. <laughs> Got it. Since we're looking for a mommy mermaid, you think we can bring her in with the sound of a baby mermaid crying, right? <laughs> Sounds like a long shot, but we may as well give it a try. It's not like anybody has a better plan. Yeah. 
Here she is! What do you know? It worked! Moms, they just can't help themselves. I can't do a snatch and grab. She swims too fast. Well, I think that you gave me the wrong voice! I did the best I could. With the water, the spell trajectory isn't exactly the same. Sorry. Tara with Madney's voice? No, that's funny. <laughs> no, it's not! I want my voice back! I'm not the one who's supposed to sing at the Coliseum tonight! I said I was sorry. Magic isn't an exact science, you know. Let's focus, guys. You're running out of air. Based on the direction she's heading, I'd say the mermaid is going to the old shipwreck at the bottom of Roseman Bay. Move it. It's your last chance to catch her. Just wait, Aqua, whatever your name is. In about two minutes, I'm going to turn you into a little crab. And in about two hours, I'm going to a concert. understand why I did this. The giant orca is fearsome, and my daughter is mute like me. There might have been other ways of getting a voice, don't you think? Because you know, messing with Tara three hours before a Madney concert, uh, that's kind of asking for trouble. Enough chit-chat. Sparrow, please, I want my voice back. Thea Recoveris, here on the sea. Let their voices return to Tara and Madney. <laughs> Ah, good to hear my voice again. And our master's voice. Thank you, Cal. Well done, Tara. That certainly wasn't an easy mission for a young witch. Still, you have some work to do. What? In deep sea diving? No, in singing, it would seem. What? Really? Master Chem, just one question. What's going to happen to Aquaphonus and her daughter if they can't protect themselves from the Great Orca? In other words, there are always solutions. One simply needs to ask, instead of slinking here like thieves. This magic potion will give them pure and clarion voices, and everything will be taken <gasps> care of. Very well. Let us return to Otherworld. Too bad. That mermaid was so beautiful and so... So good looking. While you feel sorry for yourself, think you could put this thing in gear? The concert starts in 30 minutes! Help! Help! I want that mermaid! Is 
still believes in mermaids at his age. That's just sad. Too bad that I won't be the next rising star, but I have a pretty sharp spellbinder! 